Jones, he's dropping back. He throws it down the field and it's intercepted. <laughs> Hey guys, what is going on? Here's my live reaction to the New York Giants versus Los Angeles Rams game. If you guys saw my preview video for this game, you know I did not predict the Giants to win this game, but let's see what happens. Robert Woods gets in for the touchdown for the Rams. I have no idea how he was that wide open. I mean, there was no one near him. He literally just like walked into the end zone. So it's gonna be seven to three Rams if the PAT is good. Daniel Jones fumbles. Now the Rams have the ball in the red zone. Just, you know, fantastic. Fourth and one for the Rams from the Giants three yard line. Stafford looks to the end zone. Oh my God, Cooper Cup was wide open. How do you let that happen? Taylor Rapp intercepts Daniel Jones. So the Rams are gonna be right back in the red zone after a Daniel Jones turnover. I mean, I don't know what Daniel Jones was looking at there. Evan Ingram was there, but there were also three Rams defenders there. So, you know, personally, I wouldn't throw that ball, but then again, I am not in the NFL. First and goal for the Rams, they hand it off to Henderson. And he gets in for the touchdown. Um, okay. But, but silver lining, Henderson is on my fantasy team. So, silver lining there, for sure. Even though I'm wearing a Giants jersey right now, my fantasy team did get some points. So, just gotta look for the positives, you know. First and 10 for the Rams on the Giants 25 yard line. Oh my gosh, Henderson is wide open for the touchdown. Are you serious? Are you serious? How do you let a running back beat you? Who was in coverage there? All right, it was Tay Crowder, I think, who was in coverage. He's a linebacker. I thought it was a corner on a running back. No, Tay Crowder, yeah, that's a mismatch. Daryl Henderson just beat Tay Crowder. Oh my gosh. But then again, silver lining. Points for my fantasy team. So if anyone on the Rams was gonna score a touchdown, I would want it to be Henderson. So shout out to Henderson for making this not as painful as it could be. The Rams are about to go up 28 to three. Oh my gosh, 28 to three. No way, that's 25 points they're down by. Halfway to a 50 point deficit. No. <laughs> Guys, it's so bad. They're so bad. I just want to let you guys know, in case you didn't know, that the Giants are really, really bad. First and 10 for the Giants from their own 39 yard line. Jones, he's dropping back. He throws it down the field and it's intercepted. Oh no! Oh no! No way! Oh my gosh, you can't make this up! <laughs> Why am I laughing? I don't know what to do about laughing! because you can't make this up. You can't make this up. Taylor Rapp intercepts Daniel Jones again. That's his second interception of the day. Like, ah! And that's Daniel Jones' third interception of the day. It's Rapp's second, Jones is third. Oh wow, we're just having a splendid time right now. I mean, oh my gosh, Rapp has been amazing. I just gotta say that, like, he, he's looking at Daniel Jones, I think, more than he's looking at the receiver. He's just reading where he thinks he's going to throw the ball, and boom, jumps out in front, uh, makes a play on the ball. Outstanding play by Taylor Rapp, I, I gotta say that. Hats, hats off to him. Daniel Jones currently has as many interceptions as the Giants have points. Vibes, am I right? It's 31-3 to Rams right now with 118 left in the third. Oh, wow. First and 10 for the Rams. Stafford drops back, he throws it to Cup. Cup can run to the end zone, and he does. Oh my god, how do you make it that easy? He caught it at the line of scrimmage by the sideline and just sprinted. Just sprinted. Just sprinted. Just sprinted. No one was, like, near him. He literally just ran straight. This was him. That's what he looked like. He just said, catch, run, run, run. That's what it was like. Look, here's the replay. I'm watching the replay right now. How can no one get the angle on him? What? Cooper Cup is good though. I will say that. I mean, I'm a non I'm a non biased fan, as you guys know. Um, and the Rams are my Super Bowl pick, but Cooper Cup is a very good wide receiver. So is Robert Woods. I mean, that duo, very very good. Okay, guys. So the score is 38 to 11 Rams right now with six minutes left in the fourth. And I'm gonna end this video here just because I wanna be able to record my Cardinals Browns reaction on time. So make sure you guys go check out that video because that will be up later tonight. But am I surprised by this final score? 
Uh, yeah, a little bit. Am I surprised that the Giants lost? No, not at all. I honestly expected this to happen. If you guys saw my preview video, I talked about how I was nervous about this Giants offensive line going up against this Rams defensive line and how I thought the Rams would be able to get pressure and just really mess up the Giants game plan, not allow Daniel Jones to throw the ball down the field because he wouldn't have enough time. And that's kind of exactly what happened. Daniel Jones was under so much pressure today and uh, the Rams defense really, really had a huge impact on this game. So I'm not surprised that this is how this game went. Am I a little surprised that the Giants didn't put up more points on offense? Yes, absolutely. But am I surprised they lost? No, not at all. I mean, this team is just a mess. They, they lost worse than I expected, though, for sure. And I don't know if they'll make changes after this game because I really feel like they should because it's, it's just really bad. I mean, the defense, they started off the game okay, but then, uh, as they have throughout the season, they just collapsed and, and they played really, really bad. And I don't, I don't know what's going on with this defense. I guess because they were able to get pressure in the beginning of this game and then they kind of weren't able to get pressure in the second half of this game or the second quarter even of this game on. So, uh, yeah, guys, it was a great game for the Rams. I think this was a really nice bounce back, uh, not a bounce back win because I won last game, but I, I, I really think this was a nice... Uh, game for the Rams defense because they haven't really lived up to expectations in my opinion because they were like the number one defense last year But the Rams defense did play really 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 well today And you got to feel good if you're a Rams fan heading into next week I would feel good if I'm a Rams fan. It's like listen this defense is back on track this offense put up 38 points Matt Stafford didn't even have to finish the game So the Rams are looking really really good right now So that is it for this video guys make sure you drop a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe peace